Okay, I'm going to record my steps for creating multicam edits in Movie Edit Pro 2013 Plus. So I have currently on the screen opened up the program and this is the entry screen and whether you want to create a new project, load an existing project, or move a, use a movie template. In this case I'm going to create a new project. I'm not going to give it any special date, I'm just going to just go ahead and leave uh, the date on here. Or actually maybe I will. So let's just call this uh, multi cam, actually let's do multi cam edit step one, let's just call this that. And I'm going to create a project folder to store the media that I import here, because uh, otherwise accidentally I could move the media someplace else and then I won't be able to find it in my project. So I'm going to create uh, a project folder where the media is going to get copied to. So I'm going to end up creating more storage usage on my computer, but this assures that I've got the footage stored with the uh, edits that I'm doing. So I'm going to do that. I am going to choose a movie setting. In this case, the footage that I'm going to be importing is high def uh, 1080i. Um, so I'm going to go down and choose NTSC since I'm in the Americas. Uh, 1080i 16 by 9 as my movie setting. You can always change this later on if you want a different movie setting because sometimes you're importing multiple, like the last time I did an edit I had some footage at 1080i and some at a lower quality that somebody else shot. In this case though I, all three cameras we had were synchronized to um, the same uh, 1920 1080. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, create my folder and start to establish the project. So at this point here, I need to uh, go into the media pane here and find the media that I want to import, the, the footage. I'm just going to choose three cameras at this point, um, and just the beginning footage because I just want to show the steps involved here as quickly as possible. So I'm going to go into the J drive here, uh, and I'm going to find my videos. Uh, I'm just going to use some recent footage I did for a production. And in this screen, I've saved it under the My Record folder. And I've named the video cameras um, accordingly so I know which one that John filmed with, I filmed with, and Roy filmed with. And I'm going to choose uh, My Camera first and enter that into the screen. I'm going to start with My Camera. I'm going to use John's. So I'm going to go right, left, and center. Just That's just my choice. So I'm going to find my footage. Here's the footage I shot. It's hard to tell from this uh, which is the footage I want to start with because I know I shot some extraneous footage before the show even started. So I'm going to open up the details over here, display options and the details. You can also use icons, but I'm going to use details. And that shows me the size of the footage. And I can tell those first two files, they're smaller, much smaller, um, that those were the uh, screenshots, the extraneous footage that I don't need to start with. So I'm going to start with this one. I can also click the play button here. If I hover over this, I can click play and see some of that footage right away. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. So that is the beginning of the show, the introductions. So I do want that footage, and so I'm going to import that into my, uh, into my media. So to import it, I, am, I can click where I, where I showed you where the play was. There's lots of ways. You can drag and drop. You don't even have to do this selection with the import here. You can actually drag and drop into this window. So there's lots of ways to import the media into this. Uh, but I'm just going to choose to use this window, and I'm going to click this button here, which will import it. It's going to bring me up a message that says, hey, you don't have this footage in your project folder. Do you want to copy it there if you're going to archive it? And that's what I decided earlier on that I wanted to do. So I'm going to copy. So down below in the very bottom you can see it's saving and it's got like 30 seconds left and it's going to save it up into track one. You can see it's starting to appear there and I'm going to let that go for a little bit. I'm going to do these exact same steps with footage number two and footage number three and then I'll return. Okay, I have imported all three footages. It says now the active movie has a resolution of 1920. Uh, the file that I just added has a resolution that's less. Do you want to adjust the movie to the imported file? I do not in this case. I want to keep the original settings, not the imported file. Okay, so I've entered them all and you can see that it doesn't add each one as I've entered each one. It doesn't add them um, on different tracks. It's actually added them linearly. You can see the second cameras after the first one and the third cameras after that one. 
So I'm going to have to move them down, and I've also got to move all of the tracks. Nothing can be on track one and track two if I'm going to do a multi-cam edit, because track one and track two is where the, audio, the video and the audio is going to be located um, that's being created from the multi-cam edit. So I need to move everything out of the way first. I'm going to move everything down to three right now because they're all kind of linked together. Actually, in this case, they weren't. So I moved uh, track uh, camera one, which was the left camera, down to track three. I'm going to take the right camera. I'm going to move that down to second track, or track four, I should say. I'm sorry. And I'm going to take the last camera and move that down to track five. Okay. Right now, I've got them just thrown on there anywhere. Uh, I'm going to show the timeline view so I can see everything right now. Okay, I have placed all the three tracks. I've got the left, right camera, and the center camera all on tracks three, four, and five. Uh, first thing I want to do is name those so I remember which track is which. So I'm going to double click where it says track, and I'm going to say left. Actually, I'm sorry. That's the right camera. That's the one. That's my track. That's the one I filmed. And I need to end enter. You heard the beep. That means you can't just uh, double click it back. You have to hit enter. And then the left camera. Enter and the center camera. That's the full stage. Enter. So I've got those tracks set up. Now I want to synchronize these three tracks so that the audio and the video are in sync. So I'm going to highlight these three tracks with Control Left Click, Control Left Click, and I'm going to click on one of the tracks and go up to the top and I'm going to create a um, audio waveform. Uh, Actually, I don't even need to do that first. I'll just go down to Align Other Audio, so Audio and Waveform Display, and then Align Other Audio Objects with this track. And it's going to create all the graphics data down below. It's going to create waveforms for each of these tracks because it's going to use the high points, low points of the waveform and match up the waveforms of the audio to synchronize these three tracks. This is a really easy way to get the track synchronized. Otherwise, previous software I've had I've had to show the audio waveform and then find those peaks and then align them by sliding them back, the tracks back and forth until they aligned. And then I would play all three tracks at the same time and make sure that they are all in sync audio wise. So this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause right here. Okay, it's finished synchronizing all three tracks. You can see now that they look pretty well aligned. I'm going to um, blow it up here a little bit. And let's just take a look at some of these uh, peaks and valleys. Um, let's look at this one that looks kind of like a tower over here. We'll blow it up a little bit more and you'll see that uh, this looks pretty well aligned. See how I run the line here? And you look down this left line of this tower and they all look really well aligned. So what I'm going to do, China, usually what I do is I uh, play, the, play the audio at a certain point and just see if the audio because all three tracks are currently turned active so all three tracks audio will be active so I'm going to play that's just applause there so let's find a track where there's actually something going on and if you get let's just do this here I don't hear any echo, so it sounds like they're all adequately aligned, and uh, we're ready to go. One thing I want to do is verify that I've got, in fact, the, the right track, the left track, and the center track all in the correct places. So using this footage here, I am going to click solo for uh, the first track and see what we're doing. And there's the right track close up. It looks like I'm on the right side of the stage, so that looks per perfect. I'm going to click solo on the left and that looks like we're shooting from the left side and I'm now going to click uh, solo from the center and that does look like as centered as we could go. It's a full stage shot. There really is not an exact center. So it looks like all three are set properly and we're ready to go on to this. That's it for this. I will cover in a separate one the actual multi-cam editing.